So, it's pretty safe to say that I like Marvel on this channel. And a lot of that love sort of rekindled when we got the Infinity Saga sets from this year, when LEGO finally realised that adults like me actually want LEGO Marvel sets to actually have nice things in them. So now pretty much owning all of the Infinity Saga sets and all of the No Way Home sets, at least at this current moment in time, it's safe to say that I'd be pretty pumped for another Infinity Saga wave or another collection of No Way Home sets. And I'm unsure whether this is included in an Infinity Saga wave, but about two days ago we got news that we are going to be getting another Hulkbuster set that sounds like it's going to be about $50 more than the previous one. And the internet, mm, they're not so happy about it. We, we, we just had this. We, we just had it. It was 2018. Personally, I'm sick of Hulkbusters. It seems like we get one every year, whether it be a direct consumer or a smaller scale. Yeah, I'm not excited. I mean, the old one literally came out in 2018, and I feel like for the 10 years of Marvel, something from Infinity War that's literally a remake of another set, I just, I'm not excited. A lot of people on the internet are arguing that this is too soon for another Hulkbuster to come out, which I frankly disagree with. I don't think that's where the problem lies. I think the main problem lies with being connected to the old one. For example, if I have the old one in my collection, LEGO are not going to make it look too different to the previous one because they want the two to go together. Or on the other side of the coin, they are going to make it look different, but then it doesn't match your old one that you previously got. This is what's confusing to me at least about the price difference. This one's going to be about $50 more than the previous one. Meaning, are we going to get a bigger model? Are we going to get a more filled out Hulkbuster? If you ask me, the previous one wasn't very accurate and it's definitely spindly in some places. Does this mean we're going to get a similar base style? to the same one that we got previously, as this one came with a base and a nice UCS sort of plaque. The only time we ever see this Hulkbuster is out on the battlefield, so maybe we'll get some sort of battlefield scene. And if you ask me, this Hulkbuster didn't really do much. It didn't really feel like a Hulkbuster type suit. And you'll have to let me know in the comments how you feel about it, but frankly, I like the older design in Age of Ultron's Hulkbuster suit better than I did the Infinity War one. Plus the one from Age of Ultron actually fought the Hulk, making it a Hulk Hulkbuster. I have a feeling that this new one is called the Hulkbuster, but it doesn't actually fight the Hulk. The Hulk drives it, which is kind of overshadowed by a lot of other things going on in the same scene. I think this is why a lot of people like the Age of Ultron Hulkbuster more than the Infinity War one, and I'm included in that. But back to the LEGO model, I don't feel like the Age of Ultron model from LEGO looks like the model from the film. And I'm hoping this is something that can be improved upon from this previous set, even if I did like this suit more. So if I was in charge of LEGO in this current moment in time, I would be making one that looks vastly different to the one that came out three years ago, because I don't think that looks accurate at all. And considering this might be the first Infinity Saga D to C set, you would want the set to make a good first impression on the fans, so you have more opportunity to do more D to C style Infinity Saga sets or MCU sets in the future. So personally, I'm hoping it looks vastly different to the previous one. I just think the head's way too big and honestly doesn't really look like the reference material from the film. Maybe it's based on some concept art that they had at the time, but I'm unsure. I actually decided to buy this set because a guy called Ransom Fern made a really accurate model to the Hulkbuster from the film using this set and a previous set. I've actually made an entire video on this model, so if you're interested in seeing more about what this looks like, go and check out that video, the link will be in the description. And funnily enough, he actually made an Infinity War version of the Hulkbuster in the same scale as this one, which is actually the one in the thumbnail, so I think LEGO have their work cut out for them, because if you ask me, if it's not better than this one, I would consider this set just a don't buy flat out. There's also rumours of it including one figure, now I would assume this would be Bruce Banner, because people are saying it's either between Bruce Banner or Iron Man. I would have a feeling, considering Bruce Banner was the only person who wore this suit in Infinity War and a little bit of Endgame, I would assume that we're getting Bruce Banner in this set and hopefully it looks way more accurate to the figure that we got before. Don't get me wrong, this is not a bad figure, but I just don't think it looks like Mark Ruffalo all that much. This could be an opportunity for LEGO to give us a brand new hairpiece mold that matches his style and I'd personally love to see one side of his face print include the glasses that he wears in most alternative scenes, therefore making this one one of the best Bruce Banner figures we'd ever had. But frankly, these are my first opinions on this set. I don't actually think that this set is going to be bad, and I'm hoping it's actually more of a bust figure than an actual full figure. We know that LEGO can do a lot of cool things, and it's usually vastly different to what we think, and better than what we think that the set's going to be. This isn't a hate video because I think the set's going to be bad, because if I'm honest, I've got no real foot to stand on here in terms of that sort of an argument. 
All I'm saying is I hope LEGO took note and learnt from their previous mistakes on their old Hulkbuster and put that in the bin so they can make a brand new model that looks amazing and would be a model that a lot of true fans from the Infinity Saga wave would love to have as part of their collection, even if it didn't match the one that they've already previously got. I wouldn't want to see this be the first Infinity Saga D to C set and it also be the last one, but then I also wouldn't want it to look like this. I'd probably want it to look more like this, which is actually a model that I've made a previous video on, which you can click the screen and watch now. I'll see you in the next one.